French President Emmanuel Macron has a warned against a U.S.-China technological war or a trade war, slamming it as inappropriate. President Macron was speaking at the annual Viva Tech Forum in Paris a day on from President Trump moving to basically blacklist Chinese telecoms giant Huawei. Mr. Macron also asserted that the private sector had an excessive influence on U.S. policy, a model no longer subject to democratic checks and balances. He reiterated his wish to see Europe offer a middle way between China's state-controlled economy and the U.S. laissez-faire model. The Viva Tech Summit is being attended by tech leaders, including Alibaba's Jack Ma. 5G networks are expected to take the spotlight over the next few days, including a presentation by Huawei's deputy chairman, Ken Hu. U.S. officials have been trying to persuade allies not to allow China a role in building next-generation 5G mobile networks, saying the state-controlled firm poses a security risk. Well, for more on this, let's cross over to Elena Casas, and she is in Paris. So, Elena, you know, President Macron warning against a possible tech war between U.S. and China. It, tell us what more did he say? Well, Macron was saying that there's no reason European companies should be afraid of competing with China or of Chinese dominance. The way we fight back, he was saying, is by creating a better product. And he also said he believes that companies created in Europe with democratic checks and balances have many advantages over companies created in a heavily state-controlled economy like China's. On Huawei specifically, he said, we are, of course, concerned about which companies have access to technologies which are essential for our national security. But that doesn't mean that we seek to ban Huawei or any other specific company. Uh, and he did, of course, say essentially that he opposes this move by Donald Trump, that he says it would be deeply unwise to get into any commercial or technological war with China. Elena, Huawei will be at the summit to make a presentation on its 5G abilities. Several countries in Europe, like Italy and Germany, say they won't ban it from their 5G plans. Why is Europe taking a friendlier stance compared to the United States? Well, the issue is that there's not very much agreement among European governments over what they should do about Huawei. As you were saying, some governments, such as Germany, have accepted assurances from the company that they want, don't pose any danger to national security, that they don't share any information with the Chinese government or create uh, so-called holes, back doors in technology, which allows them to collect and share that kind of information. Other governments, like here in France, have been more cautious. Although Macron has said uh, that he won't be banning Huawei, he still has yet to tender out the 5G network here in France, so we don't know if Huawei or a Chinese company will be allowed to take a role in it or not. In Britain, of course, uh, the role of Huawei was so controversial, the cabinet itself couldn't decide, and it led uh, through a controversial leak to the sacking of a government minister. So really, even within European governments, and certainly between them, uh, they cannot reach a consensus on whether Huawei should be allowed to take a role in European tech. Many of pushing for a European level response, especially over the building of a 5G network. Uh, but so far, European countries aren't really managing to reach that joined up response. All right, many thanks for that. Uh, Lena Kassar speaking to us from Paris.